What's up guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel for all my new subscribers So I'm super excited for today's video because I'm gonna be making one of my favorite videos to film And one of y'all's favorite videos to watch which is gonna be my what's in my bag I've done a couple what's in my bags on my channel in the past few years And I have another bag to show you guys today and I'm super excited because I did try to film this You know while I was still living at my parents house But we had like guests over at the time And so you know how when you have guests over you're like trying to be quiet and trying to do all this to not disturb them Yeah, I wasn't feeling it so I just decided to overall from the video in my new apartment apartment tour is coming very soon and my move-in vlog should be up by the time this video is up so yeah I'm super excited so let me go ahead and show you all this gorgeous bag all right so if you're new to watch my bag videos this is part of the video where I show you guys um, the actual bag before I get into what I keep inside of it so yes this is the bag that I've been carrying this is pretty much like my everyday bag uh, I feel like my last what's in my bag was like a what's in my school bag so that's like school related obviously this is like my actual everyday bag that I do carry so I'm in love with this bag y'all okay so first of all the specs on this bag this is like a like a square top handle patent leather bag it kind of looks like now that I think about it it kind of looks like that one Dior bag I'm not really sure like what the name is but like y'all know like the Dior that has like this kind of pattern on it and so it is low-key 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 a designer dupe but that's not the reason that I bought it I genuinely think this is a super cute bag I would buy it whether it's a bag dupe or not um, and I love this bag so much I think that patent leather is a really great option for more affordable bags because they make it look a lot more expensive than it actually is and I like how there's no like cheap like keychains and stuff on it so it doesn't look too cheap uh, it's just a regular like two bags on it and it's actually a really nice shape I love the square shape and I love this size this is literally the perfect handbag size for me because it holds just what I need nothing more nothing less I'm not a big bag girl y'all know like I don't need a massive tote bag or anything and it does come with a crossbody strap but I currently have it tucked into the bottom of the bag so I'll show you guys the crossbody strap when I take everything out of this purse yeah I feel like my first what's in my bag I show like a designer bag and I still have that bag and I still love that bag but I feel like now like I'm just so over that stuff not the say that I would like never buy an expensive bag again or anything but I I really seen that you don't need an expensive bag to be stylish I think a lot of times people equate designer with style which I spoke about on my TikTok when I was talking about all the designer trends and perfumes and stuff that I don't like and don't think are worth your money follow me on TikTok if you haven't already but yeah I think people associate like the price of the bag with style and I feel like it in our like a modern day with so many shopping avenues like like those fast fashion brands i recommended and even just amazon and forever 21 and stuff there's so many cute bags that don't have to be expensive i actually got this bag from ross for like ten dollars or eleven dollars and i have like bags that i paid way more and i don't even wear them as often they're not even as cute as this bag so yeah i'm obsessed in case you can already tell so now let's get into what's into the bag so it doesn't have any pockets on the body but it does have this like strap right here and it also doesn't have a zipper um, I thought the no zipper thing would be a problem, but I'm actually fine with it. And um, obviously the hardware is gold. So you just pop it open and then you have access to your bag. I actually just came back from the movies with my friends, so I already took all the candy that I snug in there out of here. So this is everything else I keep in there. Obviously the first thing I have in here is my phone. I have an 11, an 11 Pro Max. Yeah, I have an 11 Pro Max in the gold color. And then I have this super, sorry, this super, um, this super cute rose gold phone case well y'all let me tell you about my struggle with phone cases okay i have bought like eight different phone cases because i really love the color of my phone and i don't want to cover it up but i don't want to be without a case so i bought so many different like clear phone cases and things like that and y'all they all turned yellow i even paid like i don't even know how much for this fancy ass anti-yellowing case from amazon and it yellowed just as fast as all my cheap dollar store ones so yeah, but this one I actually got from Walmart. I really, really love the rose gold trim on it. And the clear part of it hasn't yellowed. And I've been using this for like two months straight and it's not dirty or anything. And I feel like my phone still really looks beautiful inside. So if I can find the link for this phone case, I'll definitely link in the description box down below. And then my wallpaper is just, let me see if it's even gonna focus. My wallpaper is just this picture of me and my family that we took a little while ago. So yes. And then the next thing that I'm seeing in here are my sunglasses. So I used to, fun fact about me, I used to be one of those girls who always bought sunglasses and never actually wore them because people always tell me that I have like a mean face, that I look mean. So when I wear sunglasses, I feel like that adds to it. But these ones I've been loving lately and I'm in Austin right now. It's literally like 10 something outside. Like I can't be out in the sun squinting for my dear life. So this is what these look like. 
if you've been watching me for a while you remember when i used to do my aliexpress hauls i got this off of aliexpress like three years ago and i still have them so this is what these look like they're literally so cute oh my god i feel like these are my bad bitch sunglasses like if i had my hair in like a low bun and i went out like this like i wouldn't even approach me in this so yeah they're super cute and i feel like they go with every single outfit throwback to when i used to suffer and wait for my items for two months before i discovered Chien. never again okay the next thing i have in here is my hand lotion so i'm a very much hand lotion perfume hand sanitizer and purse type of girl i always have those things with me always 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 um even before the pandemic especially because this summer i worked in healthcare a lot and so i was washing my hands a lot obviously and if i don't have a lotion with me my hands will get like super dry and ashy so this is just the one i've been using it's this nivea refreshingly soft moisturizing cream it's very lightweight it's not like super thick or anything i prefer eucerin personally but i'm just trying to finish this up before i buy a new one um it's a 2.6 ounce and it's like two dollars at walmart so yeah and it's a big enough size to where i feel like it'll last me a decent amount of time but it'll also fit in like 99 percent of my bags the next thing that i have in here is like my wallet keys apparatus so this is my wallet it's a louis vuitton key pouch and monogram this is actually my second key pouch the first one i got on ebay Bay, like years and years ago and it's so old it was literally falling apart and so I sold that one and I went ahead and purchased um, this one I really I had like the the checkered one before and I really wanted the monogram print and so y'all y'all know I'm like somebody who likes to get like luxury things like pre-love like eBay Poshmark all that so I was checking the prices and I don't know what in the inflation is going on but the prices of everything have been getting so expensive and then you know Louis Vuitton has done I think two price raises this year already so I was just like the best prices that I was seeing on eBay were like $30 $50 off retail and it wasn't even worth it for a used item in my opinion so I was like, you know what, the price of this item is just going to keep going up. I'm just going to get it brand new from the store and have the, the whole LD experience, you know, and have the item before the price goes up anymore because the prices really have been going up. It's just killing me that I paid $270 for a key pouch that just a year ago was $205. So if you this take this as your sign. If you have been wanting like any luxury items or anything like that and you've been holding off, I would say just go for it before the end of the year because things are only going to get more and more expensive like just buy it just buy it so anyways yes this is my key pouch and my wallet it's the only like wallet that i really use and i just keep my essentials in here so right now i have my school id i have my driver's license i have a store credit for ross because i've been buying furniture for this big ass house and i have my debit card and then i also have my covid19 vaccine card because i am vaccinated this is all I really need, especially I also feel like being in college as well, carrying like a big wallet is not really ideal for me. So I really love that I always have this, it's always attached to my keys and it keeps my essentials in there. And then for the other stuff on my keys, I have like this UT Science um, hand sanitizer, cause you know germs. I have my house key for my apartment, I have my house key for my parents' house. I have this like best friends thing that me and my best friend got when we were like in seventh grade or something. Then I have my key for my room and then I have my mailbox key. <laughs> And then I have my CVS card and my credit card. So I keep all my keys on here. I don't have my car keys on here anymore because obviously I didn't bring my car key. I didn't bring my car with me to Austin. So, okay, so we're almost done. So the next thing that I have in here is an emergency mask. Pandemics first started, I was very religious about wearing my mask every single day, no matter where I went to. And it was very stressful. Like y'all know how it is when you start wearing a mask for more than a couple hours, you start smelling your own breath. And it's just, no, like I didn't like it. I feel like it was even giving me face acne. So after I got vaccinated, I really didn't wear my mask as much anymore, except if I'm like in a very crowded place, you know? But I still keep a mask, like an emergency mask with me. This is just the disposable ones. I like the disposable ones, because I feel like they do a better job at protecting you, but it's just a black mask. You can get these from Amazon, and they're a lot cuter than like the medical blue masks. So I just keep one on me. So yeah, the next thing I have in here is my AirPods, y'all. I still can't believe I bought AirPods. I was like an AirPods hater when I was in high school. I was like, I cannot believe y'all would spend 150 to 200 dollars on headphones but if you're in college let me tell you this is another thing that i would say just buy it i know it's expensive i know the price is up there but honestly these are very very worth it for me it allows you to be on the phone 
um, without being like near your phone you can like have them in and be doing chores and stuff and it's also really um, convenient for studying as well like if you're ever studying or taking a test or something in a public place and people are being really loud like you can just pop your headphones in and I have the pros so these are the ones with like the little gummy thingy on the ends so they are like noise canceling so when I have these in and I put on like my study music or whatever I literally can't hear anything these are just a good investment to me I know they're expensive but I would say just go ahead and invest in AirPod Pros if you're in college. So the next thing I have in here is some fragrances, actually. So yeah, like I said, I'm a perfume, lotion, hand sanitizer, always on me type of girl. And I just have two fragrance samples. So I actually got these when I um, bought like a big size perfume and I also bought my key pouch. So these are by Killian. And so this is Killian Love Don't Be Shy. And if y'all don't know, if y'all are not hip to perfume TikTok, which I am, follow me on TikTok again if you haven't already. But this is Love Don't Be Shy. And this is like the perfume that everybody says Rihanna wears. And so like it's super popular. And it's also stupid expensive. It's so expensive, y'all, that they couldn't even fill up these sample bottles for me. Like they filled it up like 75% because that's how fucking pricey the perfume is. Anyway, it's like a super... To me, Love Don't Be Shy smells like a caramel, marshmallow, syrupy combination, but it smells expensive. It, it's not like Claire's perfume or like Bath & Body Works Sweet. It definitely smells like money. It definitely smells high-end. Um, oh my god. It smells so good. I think it has a little bit of green tea in there as well. If you ever get a chance to go to like Saks or Neiman Marcus or something, please go smell this. It smells, the hype is real on this. This is not like some other perfumes, which I will not name, but people hype up for no reason. The hype on this is 100% real and it smells really fucking good. And then I also have another sample that the lady was, she was swearing up and down to me about this one. This is Good Girl Gone Bad Extreme, also from Killian. And this is like, I would say this is Love Don't Be Shy's older, more mature, sexier sister. It definitely smells like, it's a, it's a sweet floral. It smells really, really good. And I don't know what it is about Killian perfumes, y'all, but they just smell expensive okay like i don't i think i'm I, I am gonna buy a travel size of love don't be shy because the full size bottle is like 240 dollars and that's expensive even for me like i feel like anything over 100 dollars for perfume is pushing it so i definitely will buy the travel size of this and i do want this fragrance as well i think i like it even more than love don't be shy but definitely like if you guys get a chance to go to neiman or like Saks or something and you smell these two perfumes please let me know what you think because i feel like i like good girl gone bad just a little bit more and then the last thing that i have at the very bottom of my bag is my lip combo sir I have my lip combo in here. So you guys always ask me what I wear on my lips, what my lip combo is. And I do have one TikTok up on my TikTok slash reel on my lip combo. So I'm gonna leave those like down below. But this is what I'm currently wearing. So first of all, I always have clear lip gloss on me. Come hell or high water, come rain or shine, I'm gonna have clear lip gloss on me, okay? You won't catch me dead without something on my lips. It's actually not possible. So the one that I use is the NK um, lip gel. This is just from Beauty Supply. Um, and I get the just the regular vitamin E clear one. Like I know there's like different ones. It's like a rose hip oil, there's an argan oil, there's like a strawberry flavor, but those smell really weird to me. So I just like to get the regular unscented one. And this <sighs> lip gloss, oh my god. This lip gloss has held me down since like middle school. And it's such a good gloss because it gives you like that three-dimensional shine. Like I've tried the glosses and they're more like oils than a gloss if that makes sense so i'm not gonna talk too much about this you already know what it is go to beauty supply pick this up yes i am wearing her today over my lip liner and then the lip liner that i use is also from the brand nk and it's an eye pencil in the shade brown just brown and this is the only lip liner i actually use when it comes to makeup especially like my neutral everyday look i'm a very if it ain't broke don't fix it type of girl so this works for me it makes my lips look good it's a perfect shade of brown for me so today i just outlined my lips in this and then i use the lip gel in the center i didn't like add anything else but sometimes when i do i want to add like a pink topper i use this la colors plump gloss in the shade in the shade I cannot even talk. This is what happens when you talk a million miles per minute. LA Colors Plump Gloss in the shade Shocker. So yeah, it's just like a, this is like my go-to lip topper. It's like a clearish, sparkly pink. I prefer with gold glitter and not silver glitter because it does make a difference. But I'm not wearing this today. I'm just wearing my lip liner and my clear gloss. So yeah, you guys, that is everything that I keep in my bag. As y'all can see, she is empty. And this is what the crossbody strap looks like. Let me show y'all. 
so yeah this is what the crossbody strap looks like unfortunately it's not detachable which is the only thing that i would change about this bag because i do like a detachable strap but it is adjustable i have it on the loosest so i can actually put it across my body but yeah this is just what the inside looks like it does have a little zipper pocket and sometimes i'll put like cash in there i don't really carry cash when i do i just put it in like the pocket of my purse and yeah she's super cute i'm in love with this bag i still can't believe one of my favorite purses i only paid 11 dollars for but yeah there's my bag and that is all for my what's in my bag you guys i really really hope you enjoyed it uh comment down below some items that you keep in your purse and please let me know if y'all ever smell those killian perfumes what you think because oh my god i'm not spending 240 on a perfume but they smell too good to pass up so i don't know what i'm gonna do about that uh, thank you guys so much for subscribing and thank you so much for all my new subscribers definitely stay tuned for more lifestyle content i have some really great ideas coming up um thumbs up this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on your post notification bell so that y'all don't miss my new uploads anyways thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye